I'm going to do a tutorial on putting a bumper on a centerboard for windsurfing. So I'm going to be showing how to make a bumper for the old style centerboards or any centerboard for that matter. Uh, the old rubber, this one, in, this, in this case, this is a Mistral super light uh, racing centerboard. And uh, well, rather than, you know, because these things are not available anymore, so I'm going to make them out of EVA. And here's an old fin cover. And it's about uh, three millimeter thick or about three, and, uh, about an eighth inch thick, uh, about like that. A EVA also, if you find a quarter inch, that's about five millimeter. And that would also work, but you would have to uh, sand down after it's all, you know, for the thickness, because it will be a little too thick in here, but it can be shaped down once it's done. So in this case, I'm going to use the fin cover. So we'll do a we'll prep, sand this, clean it, and then apply contact cement to both sides. Uh, the good wood, the good contact cement is a uh, weld wood by DAP. It's a waterproof. Make sure it's not the water based. It's got to have the good stuff in it. And, and it's completely waterproof. Make sure you get a piece of carpet or you can have a, a brush, but not as effective as a piece of carpet and a mixing stick. Uh, make sure that your uh, mix Pre-mix this real well and wear a, a good mask and then some tape as well that you get uh, both sides and then you make a long strip that's going to go all the way around the perimeter so I'm going to cut it Probably a good idea just to do this with a razor blade and uh, but it doesn't really matter that much because it's gonna get sanded. I'm gonna just kind of rough. Something like that. Having uh, an X-Acto knife also will help. So you got that. one for each side and to get a decent straight edge in here here will be a good idea to have this yeah this will be nice and straight in here So I get that. Okay. And then the same thing on this side. So what we're going to do, let's sand this first. One twenty or two twenty grit sandpaper, depending how much sanding really is going to need. Rounding of these corners in here so it doesn't tear. Get some uh, denatured alcohol, clean it up well, and it, it 
clean the rest around the head of the center board so you can put some masking tape. If This uh, EVA, it's a good idea to clean it with um, acetone or again, denatured alcohol. You would they both work. I prefer using denatured alcohol, not as bad on your lungs. Just let it evaporate a little bit. Okay, so now the trick is a thin, thin layer of uh, glue. Those things, I always recommend using a stick. And, uh, and so you can just put it on, coat well the carpet. Make sure you've got plenty there so it's wet. And then you can close this thing as soon as possible because otherwise you will dry up and get really jelly on you just a thin layer one direction only Very thin layer, that's all you need. Kind of looking light to see that it's gotten the glue in there. And now I let it set for nine to 12 minutes, depends on how much humidity in the air. If it's dry, even less, maybe eight minutes. Okay, so you can see. Okay, so now this thing is, uh, right up. I'm going to carefully uh, line it up with the leading edge of this thing. It really helps to have a roller. If you don't have, you can use a dowel or something and really press it in place. That's a really important to have is a very sharp razor blade. So then you can go right alongside the edge and cut it and flush. So I got to think that uh, the top of the bumper would be better to have because of all the wear of pushing to have the thicker EVA. So I'm gonna cut a uh, the quarter inch EVA for the top, or you can do two layers of the thinner one, one on top of the other. But I've, you know, I like this one, and I'm gonna cut a little bit of a bevel here on this base. This would be better done in a belt sander, which I have, but I'm trying to show that you don't need to have a lot of fancy tools to do this. So the plan will be putting the thicker one like that. Push it in hard so it's got under 
assemble it again. And make sure you progressively push so there's no, it doesn't stick and create air bubbles. There you go. pressure onto this. So you can go several ways about it. You can just use a like a 30, 20, 24 or 30 sandpaper and just sand, sand the edges. I like to take a sander to it. Eighty is the idea for finishing eighty grit because it gives you a little bit of a fuzzy surface with your foot. You have better grip on your foot, so don't sand it too thin, too uh, fine. Eighty grit is perfect. Cinnabar looks terrible because it needs to be sanded and painted, but you have now a nice little bumper on this. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to, but 